So I was showing you guys, I got these straw blankets and I started to crack into them already just from seeding the grass over there. But what I was trying to do, I wanted to stack them all up back here in the backyard on these uh, sawhorses and then cover them with a, you know, be able to cover them with a tarp. They've got some plastic on them, but it's not much. So I'll cover them with a tarp to keep the rain off of them just so they don't turn into big soggy messes. Um, but so I stacked them all up. I was like, okay, I got 10 of them. Perfect. Make a nice, perfect triangular stack, you know, four by four. And uh, that was great in theory, but then they rolled. <laughs> so I, I put this two by four and that four by four on either side of the saw horses, but I didn't secure them. So they just scooted out. And then the whole pile came tumbling down. Of course, with kids around, that's not allowed. Um, but it made me think. So I came back there. I was like, okay, I'll just strap them all together. But as I started to strap the pile, I realized... I don't need to strap the pile, the whole pile. I only need to strap the bottom row because if the bottom row can't splay out and everything above it sits in a, you know, sits down in this, this valley here and that valley and that valley. So everything sits in a valley. It's not going to roll out of there. But the reason the pile will collapse is because the bottom parts will roll outwards and then let the top parts come down in between them. So <clears throat> I just thought this was interesting. I thought I'd point that out. You know, if you're stacking up logs or you're stacking up round pipe, uh, anything that's a long tubular sort of shape like this, um, if you stack it up, it's going to want to roll out. Just the weight, the weight of this roll here is transferring down directly here. It wants to make these two go separate from each other so it can fall in the middle. Um, and that's true to, like I said, any tubular you're going to stack up. But if you strap just the bottom row so that those bottom ones can't spread, then everything above it can't collapse in the middle. So anyway... Just thought I'd point that out. It's kind of one of those, I don't know, rules of nature or rules of physics or whatever you want to call it. But stack the pile up here, strap the bottom one, and then I can throw a tarp over it and keep it out of the weather and up off the ground.